So again, I want to emphasize that if you hear somebody out there say being fasted is optimal for focus and concentration, well, that is true in one context and perhaps ideal for a certain part of the day. And other people will say, no, you know, neurons run on glucose. You need glucose in your bloodstream in order to get those neurons to be tuned. That is to respond with electrical activity in the optimal way when you're reading something or when you're trying to perform exercise. Well, that's also true. So there are two ends of the spectrum. On one end of the spectrum, blood glucose is relatively low and you're fasted and you can think in behave in a very concentrated way. And on the other end of the spectrum, you have a lot of blood glucose, or I should say sufficient blood glucose. You never want your blood glucose to be too high. And that allows your neurons to encode and perceive and basically allow you to think really clearly. So you sort of have to pick your condition. What do you want for your bouts of focus and concentration? So one way to manage this is if you're going to have a lunch to make sure that you don't stuff yourself at lunch, that you're not overeating and to not get quite so full that you push your nervous system into this parasympathetic mode and make it hard to focus in the afternoon. I know a lot of people experience a dip or even a crash in energy in the afternoon that make it really hard to focus. So to make this very simple or as simple as I can for you, being fasted is great for focus and concentration, provided you're not thinking about food the entire time. And being fed is terrific for focus and concentration, actually can improve neuronal function, provided that you didn't eat too much food.